<laughs> Good morning, precious. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Happy Wednesday. I know you was checking for me. You didn't think I was going to come on. I know. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to give it to you. I'm trying to come back. You know, COVID shut everything down. So I'm coming back little by little. So this is three days in a row. You've seen me. You know, I'm not telling you if I'm coming in tomorrow. You're going to have to tune in and see if I come on tomorrow. But you got me today. How about that? Yes, let's get started. I'm going in. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's cold today. So I know. Mm. Don't let my attire fool you. I'm about to go work out. But it's cold. You see, I got my auntie's sweater on. And I had the heat on in the house. And the heat was on in the car. What up, Billy? How you doing, baby? Yeah, I got some good news and some bad news today. Yeah. My car, it was bad news because it's another black family breaking up and tearing apart. Two people can't find a way to get along and get together and stay together and raise the babies. I know. What up, J-Rock? What up, Flo? How you doing, beautiful? So they reached out to me. They didn't call for the program, guys. They had reached out because once upon a time we used to offer anger management classes. So they inquired about that. So in the midst of talking to them and letting them know that I don't, I'm not doing that right now, you know, and let them know what I am doing, which is the program and the co-parenting workshop. Then we went to, you know, we just got the kick in it. And I asked if they would be willing to take a few suggestions from me as far as what they plan on doing after the separation because they have children involved. I extended the services about, you know, attitude adjustment if they ever need it because generally once the couple separate, the next thing to follow is the children misbehaving. In most cases. So they agreed to listen to me and my suggestions. And one of my suggestions was for them to come up with a plan after they separate for the children. I think they had two or three of them. Uh, one of them is hers and then the other two is theirs together. And I asked if they thought about creating a plan. And you know, of course they thought I was crazy. Well, what do you mean a plan? We trying to exit. We trying to leave each other alone. Yeah. You know, and I said, well, you got to have a plan in place for the babies. After y'all separate, who's going to do this and who's going to do that? Who, who, you know. So one thing that I did suggest to them. You want to keep it simple. It's already going to be a heavy blow when the children realize that mom or dad is not in the same household and then the adjustment of going from one house to another and then the thought of hearing y'all arguing and all the time, every time you pick the baby up and drop it, you know, stuff like that. So I tell you, you really don't want, you know, children need stability, so you really don't want to shake it up too much, you know. You don't want to shake up too much stuff. So one thing I just, you know, suggested to them was some of the same things that you were doing while you guys were together and whatever the role was of that parent when you guys were together you want to keep that same role I'm gonna give you an example in my marriage I was the one that made all the appointments all the doctor's appointments the dentist appointments because I had the boys I had the three boys and then now we got the two girls and then the husband so we would go as a family whenever we could so I was the one making all the doctor's appointments and stuff. So after the divorce, when we separated, both my girls was in sports. They were both in basketball. They were both in volleyball. Kel was in cheer and golf or whatever. So when it came time to make the appointment for Ken and her for their physical, dad had already took the baby to get a, to get a physical. What? Why, did, why would you do that? What? You, you ain't been doing that. So don't, don't do that now. You know, 
Just, just, and that's what that's what happens when 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 you break up. Generally, the competition starts. So everybody want to outdo the other and want to make it seem like the other person not doing their job, and you know you want to make people not like them, and you the favorite parent. I don't know what that be about. I really don't. But that's the shit that be going on. Oh, excuse me, it's a Christian show. I'm sorry. That's the type of stuff that goes on when people break up. Don't nobody think about the babies. Don't nobody think about the babies at all. I'm telling you that right now. The kids is not thought of when you break up. Hey, baby, good morning. Oh, shoot. I ain't even bring no money. I sure did. Let me go get my money. God dang it. Fix it, Jesus. I came in with my car. I ain't shit. Oh, and I got the coffee. I'm coming right back. Okay, damn. I done stole the coffee, guys. I'm running. So. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing, guys. Let's go save money. Shit. So, yeah, guys. It was like, that's when the competition and shit began. You know, trying to outdo the other parent. Trying to hurry up and do stuff before the other one do. So they can have something to go back and report. And try to make it seem like they doing so much more. They so much the better. I know, that's, that's, that's sickening. It's sickening to my stomach. Because like I said, once again... Don't nobody think about the kids. Don't nobody think about the kids. So that was one of the suggestions that I offered to them. Try to keep some of the same things the same. You know, if you were the one doing all the doctor's appointments or you were the one doing this and that. Thank you, baby. With the baby. Keep that the same. If you're the one taking the baby to practice, if it's still able for you to take the baby to practices and take the baby to school and pick the babies up. Okay. You continue to do that, you know. So... Cause I can't tell you what the mama role is and what the daddy role is because nowadays things are twisted. You got dads that stay home now while the mom go and work, you know. So roles is not considered with the roles that we would label them as. I'm good. Have a good day, babe. You know, so I'm not going to say that. But what I will tell you, like I told them, just continue to do what you've been doing as best you can, you know. So, thank you, baby. little soap and water. Oh, a little soap and water, baby. That's all. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Enjoy your day. <sighs> oh, thank you. He said, look good, too. He must be half asleep. <laughs> so I do not look good today. I look like I'm about to work out. That's what I look like. I look like Celia at this point with this hair wrap. And so, um, yeah, that was so such. So they did take my suggestion. So hopefully they utilize it. Hopefully they do it. You know, oh, let me shoot some waves, guys. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to forget about you. So, yeah, that was um uh, one of the suggestions. And then what else did I? You know, I, I, I try to encourage them not to make the same mistake that my other parents have made as far as when you use the baby as a pawn. They assured me that they wasn't going to do nothing like that. But people say anything, you know what I'm saying? Then they turn around and do something totally different. But, you know, we kind of dipped on that as far as, you know, using the children, how they shouldn't use the children, ways that they can go about and not include the children in certain things, you know, how they have to keep a unified front in front of the children, allow the children to see them interacting with each other on a positive note, you know. Don't talk about one another to the children. Please don't do that. Um, what else did I say? I gave them a whole list of stuff, guys, for them not to do in preparation of them separating. I hated to hear that, though. You know, another black family destroyed. You know, it's just, it's so hard to stay together. I don't know why it's so hard to find somebody, be with them, have these children, stay together and raise them. I know our people did it back in the day. I don't know what the hell going on. So you can't blame everything on the Internet. You know what I'm saying? You got to some other guy. You got to be accountable for some stuff. You know, you just, you just got to. But yeah, guys, that was that was mainly because you know I don't be wanting to overload you and give you a whole bunch of stuff. I think that was the main thing I wanted to touch on because it was fresh. Because I had just just spoken with them, it was fresh. Yeah. So that's it, guys, for today. Yep. Hit that subscribe button on that YouTube channel, Shakinya, and follow me, guys. I don't want you to miss nothing. I know I'm looking crazy today. I know I was cute last night, though. I started to take a picture because I knew y'all wasn't gonna believe me, but I was cute last night. I had my little ponytail in. But right now I'm about to go get this workout in, guys, because um. I'm at a particular age and stuff don't, you know, stuff starting to fall and not come back up. <laughs> I had to go work it out. So y'all enjoy y'all Wednesday. Don't do too much humping and I'm out. Mwah.